Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with Claudia. Today I'm showing you an easy mashed potatoes recipe. I've been a little sick, so my voice throughout the video is going to be a little raspy, so bear with me. This video is kindly sponsored by Bellmain. Bellmain is one of Amazon's popular sellers. They make a lot of high quality kitchenware. This is their potato ricer and I'm going to use it to make these delicious mashed potatoes. Let's get started. I'm using reset potatoes for this recipe. You can also use gold potatoes if that's what you have. Usually when I make mashed potatoes, I cook the potatoes, but today I'm going to bake them. Baking them is a great way to avoid gummy mashed potatoes because if you boil them and you don't do it right, they can absorb too much water which can make your mashed potatoes very gummy. My oven is preheated to 425 Fahrenheit. I'm going to place the potatoes into the oven then let them bake for 50 minutes to 1 hour. Halfway through baking, make sure you turn them over that way they bake evenly. I'm going to get my Bellmain potato ricer ready for mashing the potatoes when they're done baking. The potato ricer has three interchangeable discs. So depending on the texture of mashed potatoes you're going for, you can insert any of these discs. When the potatoes are done baking, you're going to cut them lengthwise. Then use a spoon to scoop it out into the potato ricer. I'm ricing one potato at a time. I'm going to grab a large bowl then I'm going to press the handles of the potato ricer together to mash the potato into the bowl. The potato ricer does a very good job removing all the lumps out of the potato. You can see all the lumps stuck in the can. I like to scrape them out a little before ricing the next potato. The potato ricer breaks down the potato into a smooth fluffy mash. Once all the potatoes have gone through the ricer, I'm going to combine some milk and butter. Then I'm going to warm this in the microwave until the butter has melted into the milk. Then gradually mix the mixture into to the potatoes. Depending on how thick you like your mashed potatoes, you're going to keep mixing in the milk until you achieve the texture that you want. Season with salt and pepper to taste. Mix that in. You can add sour cream or cheese to this but I just wanted to keep this very simple. I like to garnish with some melted butter and a sprinkle of black pepper. The potatoes came out very fluffy, creamy with no lumps at all. And they were absolutely delicious for how simple I made them. I'm going to leave all ingredients and measurements in the description box. Thank you so much to Bellmain for partnering with me in today's video. I highly recommend the potato ricer. It's very good quality. The construction of this product is very sturdy. It's not flimsy at all. I'm going to leave a purchasing link in the description box if you guys are interested. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!